Good afternoon, Facebook. This is your girl, Casey Glenn. I'm coming back with a public service announcement. We have a rash of missing children in the West Philadelphia area, all throughout our neighborhoods. And there is no Ambler alert set up for these missing children. So let me tell you the rules of Ambler alert. First and foremost, what I just researched for y'all, Ambler alert only services children under 12, 12 and under. Okay, that's some bullshit. Ebony Alert, we service anyone, anyone who is missing in our urban neighborhoods. So I suggest and I hope that y'all send in any flyers, any information about any kids that's missing, even if they don't pop up on the news. If you see a flyer in the neighborhood, take a picture and send it to us. If you know about someone who's missing, send it to us. Hey, Jesse, what's up, baby? Listen, we have a young lady missing in West Philadelphia that I cannot get the information on because she's on a flyer hanging on a pole somewhere. There's no way that she can be found in our neighborhood if she's on a flyer hanging on a pole somewhere. This is ridiculous. I don't even have the information on her. And this is why we need y'all to send this information into the Ebony Alert, okay? Now, the thing about Ambler Alert, they only service children under 12. Um, a family member, if a family member has taken that person, if a family member has taken that kid, mom, dad, grandma, Ambler Alert does not help you. And you have to call Ambler Alert first before you call the police. Now, I think I gave this report out before the difference between Ambler Alert. This is why we started the Ebony Alert. Ambler Alert, you have to call them first before you even call the police within the first hour that the kid is missing. And that's the very first hour that the kid is missing. The kid has to be under 12 and a family member cannot be involved in taking this kid. And this is the reason why these other kids go on Ambler Alert from different districts like that because they put out Ambler Alert information. If everybody in the hood had Ambler Alert you know, information, call immediately. You don't call the police first. You call Ambler Alert first, they get on it, and then you call the police next, which I think is bogus because everybody's first instinct when their kid is missing is to call 911. I know I did when my daughter was missing. I called 911. So listen, everybody, be very specific. If it's a child under the age of 12 missing within the first hour that the parent didn't grab, Ambler Alert will help you. And you call Ambler Alert first. And that's when your child don't come home from school or you go to the schoolyard and your kid is missing. You must call Ambler Alert first. Then you call, and that's bullshit. Now, our Ebony Alert here on Hood to Hood Station is trying to get the information out about this young lady missing in West Philly. So that if you have any information, please share it to our page openly, as openly as possible. We do not care. We want all this information shared to our page. You know somebody is missing. You see a flyer hanging on a pole. Take a clear picture of it and send it to our page. We had someone take a clear picture all the way from Arkansas. We share it every day any missing children, any missing young adults, as long as it's Ebony. You see this? This is Ebony. This is all Ebony. What's up, Reese? Santa joining the house. This is Ebony. Okay? As long as you are Ebony, we will share this information. We will share this information. We cannot help if we don't have a flyer to share, a picture to share, first-time information to share. Come on to the Ebony Alert and share this information. And we'll share it. We don't care where it comes from, where hood it comes from. If there is a person who's missing, who do not qualify, especially who do not qualify for the Ambler Alert. I mean, I think a 12 year old should, a 13 year old should, you know, but they look at them as possible runaways due to environment. And this is why our children are not looked for. Our children are not looked for because they say it's an environmental thing. So basically, if you live in a hood and you may got some crazy parents, then they're not looking for you because you probably ran away from your situation. That's sh bullshit because we have a rash of pedophiles being released into the hood and there are always sex traffickers out there and they don't just look for little girls, they look for little boys too. 
It's not just your little girls you got to look for. They look for little boys. You don't think weirdos prostitute with young boys? How many of them that you hear coming from the colleges or these prestigious ass people who come down to the neighborhoods and prostitute with young folks? Okay, we have to really be on this vigilantly. All right, I'm talking to every hood. Anybody who gets this message, send us in when children are missing or, or when uh, people are missing from our hood. It could be a 23-year-old woman. I want the report. It could be an 80-year-old man. I want the report because our ebony skin matters. Okay, they, they make us feel like our ebony skin don't matter, like we can't call Ambler. We can call Ambler underneath those guidelines underneath those guidelines, right? I'd be mad too. Underneath those guidelines, we can call Ambler. But what we cannot do is let our children, what's up, Akil? Let our children or let our ebony skin be lost to this particular system. Uh, you know, our guidelines is send us in the report. You see it on the poll? You know about it? Share it on my page. Everybody shares everything else on my page. Half little dead babies, burnt up grandmoms and everything. They share everything else on the page. Share that on the page. We want the ebony alert. We want to help find people. Hood to Hood Station is not about jokes. If you watch the show, you know we're very informative. And if you could research any of it, that's why I posted in the notes, you could research any anything that we're saying on Hood to Hood Station, we give you the truth especially me and hood news, okay? Ebony Alert shouldn't have to come out once a week when I got to dig it out of the police files. We are a black nation. So let's nationalize and get these people found, especially the children, especially the children. With all the things that's going on in our neighborhood, gangs, they just busted in Chicago, uh, and I'm pretty sure y'all heard this report, 1,113 gang members, and most of them were runaway minors or minors that were snatched. That's that child soldier thing. If your son ain't snatched into a sex ring, he'll definitely be snatched into a child soldier ring, like a gang. They do it everywhere, over in Africa and everything. You got your 10-year-olds running around selling dope, shooting people with guns, and don't know any other life because they ran away from home. So parents at home, get your shit together because they're not looking for your kid because they figure he come from a neighborhood where he don't want to be at. He probably ran away to somewhere else that was better. What's better? You come from one hood to another. What's better? Real talk. So as long as the parents not involved, we're trying to find these kids, period. Some of these children are runaways from their environment and will not get found because they want to stay where they're at. I do understand that. But there's other children out there who actually are in danger and need our help, whether they're with another parent or not. Some of these other parents out here are just as crazy as the fucking weirdos or are the fucking weirdos. Okay, you don't know what that person been through with their dad and they run away from their mom because she whooping their ass for the day and run to their dad's house and get a bunch of crazy other shit happen to them and wonder why this particular kid running up in your car or in your house trying to break in because they hungry. Because some situations, you're jumping from the frying pan to the fire. Okay, so when we have missing people, when we have these situations, if we don't pull together as a community instead of looking at the flyer like, ooh, she's 16 and she missing and she's taking pictures like that. Oh, well, she was asking to be missing. Nobody asked for that. That is products of our environment. Y'all need to get right, people. Get right. Send us everything that y'all have in on missing ebony people, missing minorities. We need that. We need that as a neighborhood. We galvanize behind anything else. If I was telling everybody to send in a joint to galvanize a 420 party, they would have done it. So send in these flyers that you are seeing that these parents are really seeking for their 15-year-olders and their 16-year-olders. And what they probably would have to do is go to the local go-go club or go check out the local pimps who's got their daughters on tracks. Nobody thinks about that shit or got their sons out on the track because, like I said, it's little boys too. So let's get our mind right, people, you know what I mean, and help the Ebony Alert. Now, listen, if you want any purchase, any products, promotions, be a part of our show, make a comment or anything, you can call us in at 484-463-7906. And if you want to be part of our Mimi team, special promotion team, email team, you can hit us up at 
hood to hood station dot com slash go daddy okay and you got hot body silk healing healing volcano salts that i have created they're three for 25 we have the healing volcano that detoxifies your whole system the cleopatra blend that helps you stay looking youthful and younger and the peppermint foot soap for them aching legs and aching feet peppermint hey ricky ricky hey Kitanya. You know, and I'm be coming out with the massage oils and the, and, and the body butter soon so that you can moisturize after your detoxification. Uh, Jaffa, mineral makeup with Keisha Green, your makeup specialist. You can check her out at www.myextensionsboutique.com. That's the makeup I be wearing all over the show. I'm not wearing makeup now, but she makes me look so natural with that real makeup. You got Shemazin Luxury Hair, three bundles for $2.50, depending on length of color. And you can check her out at Mazin Page. You got the Smile Man, has three teeth partials for $2.50 plus tax. You can call 267-678-8541. You have KNG Cleaning Services, Senior Cleaning Services with Ketanya Glenn. She will clean what your CNA won't. You can call her right here on the show at 484-463-7906. That's 484-463-7906 to make an appointment to have your house clean. Now that's K and we have Purple Velvet Creations for your candles, incense, and herbal teas. Purple Velvet Creations. Remember that. That's with our girl Kia Harrell from the Hood Health Show. Yeah, yeah. I was good and happy on Mama's Day until I got the Zebney alert, Rick. There's little girls, like eight little girls missing, or eight children, period, missing in West Philadelphia, and nobody's looking for them, and nobody's spreading their information all over Facebook, but they can spread that one about uh, the little black girl being hung. Who's looking for her? Real talk. Who's looking for her? I'm sorry that I bombarded y'all afternoon, but I wanted y'all to join me on this. You know about any missing children. You know about anybody that's got a poster on a, 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 a poster sitting up there just around the neighborhood. Take a picture of it. Send it into us, Hood to Hood Station. Send it into us. Now, no, there's no reward besides you being blessed by God. That's the reward that we done found this child safe and sound and hopefully returned them to a safe environment because children who are not in a safe environment are not going to fight to come back. And children who are out there with the runaways, remember, you have youth emergency services. That's Y-E-S. They take in runaway children with problems 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and they are in the North Philadelphia area. You can look them up. They're Y-E-S, Youth Emergency Services. They will help you with what you need if it's a runaway situation. But for all these missing people, and with the day and times and now people killing each other on Facebook, shooting people live, hanging people live or whatever the situation may be, we need to find these people that are missing from their families and return them back home to their families. Okay, especially before this summer, before the pedophile, new pedophile report hits, where all the registered pedophiles in your neighborhood also send me your zip codes so that I can find the registered pedophiles in your neighborhood and let you know what zip codes that they dwell in. That don't mean go to their house, hood to hood station is not responsible for whatever you choose to do once you get this report. But you can look the report up yourself on watchdog.com or ambler.com. That gives you the report of the recent new pedophiles that is coming out. Well, I'm not going to hold y'all up. I implore y'all for watching. Watch tonight at 9 p.m. where we got Destiny Gamble with the TMI report with the up-to-date ebony alert with the missing children on the ebony alert the last ebony alert we have not gotten any updates on the three children that we posted to y'all that was missing but we will try our best to get updates they have not been returned home yet nobody's looking for them and nobody's found them we will repost that along with the new ebony alert ebony alert tonight at nine during the tmi report love you too ricky brooks let me know the next time you and mary having something Hey, Tamara! Hi, baby! Thank you for joining. We're just talking about missing kids in the hood, baby. So that's all we're asking y'all to do. Here from Hood to Hood Station, no, we're keeping it 100 here. Keep it 100 and send in these photographs. Send in these posters. Send in this information. I swear I share it. I share it all. You know, I, I share whatever y'all send me anyway. Okay, thank you, Rick. If you see any posters, any missing kids, take the picture. I don't care. 
Just send it in to me and I'll spread it. I have 25 networks. I have over 7,000 people on a Mimi network and I am gaining. So I can take that information that you give me, put it on the Mimi network and have a whole nother set of people looking on my other TV station. And I, like I said, I will share it over all 25 of my networks. I will share your name if there's a reward so they know exactly who to give the reward to. I am not in this for money. Because if that was the case, then I'd be selling this information. I am in this to help people get home. People who want to get home need to get home. And if there is a teenage missing girl, she may be in so much trouble. So much trouble. You understand? We, I have a friend of mine who had a daughter who was missing for two weeks. And that girl was in trouble for the whole two weeks that she was missing. She was 14 years old. They tried to say that she was a runaway. This young lady was not a runaway but she was kept for two weeks and thank god she fought her way out and survived it but this is why the ebony alert is so important because nobody she was too old for the ambler alert and nobody was looking for her on the ebony alert or any alert like that she just had posters all over the place trying to find her child if anybody seen her what's up demetrius oh shit, we got Edie's environmental in the house <laughs> I'm just saying to y'all, it is very important that we put our ebony faces out there. The ebony alert is very important. It's not just something we do. And I just don't want to get my information from Philly police blog because that's where I get the ebony alert from. Us as ebony people have to work together to get this information to whoever needs it. Try to get these children home. There's a little girl now, eight years old, missing in West Philadelphia. And it's about eight children. Missing in West Philadelphia, all in a little group, like people just going around picking up kids like they finding dollars on the ground. Now, yes, y'all can blame this on the parents like, oh, them parents should have been watching the kids. But if you was a missing kid or if your kid was missing straight from your backyard or on the way home for school, would you not want, thanks, Demetrius, anything you get on the Ebony Alert on the missing kids, send it to me. Would you not want someone out there looking for your kid? I'm not telling anybody to take out their life to go searching like the Ambler people. They'll call you and have you go in group search. I'm not asking anybody to do that. I'm asking everybody to give up information to find these children. I am going to go search my vigilant, the finest report of these, the, these people that are missing in West Philadelphia, this eight-year-old girl that's missing in West Philadelphia. There is no Ambler Alert on her because her parents did not know what to do. You have to call Ambler Alert first. But we are all, all, always in this community, always riding around, going to bars. We're going to save a lot. We go in our friend's house. We see a flyer. We'd be like, oh, that's a shame. That little girl's missing. No, take a fucking picture and send it to me. It is just that important. I mean, if the black community can't do business with each other, can't support each other in any other way, we can bring our children home. We can bring our family members back to our family members. I did a report on a 63-year-old man who has schizophrenia. He died in the park because nobody was looking for him. That's the report I got back on him. He passed away in a park. Because nobody was looking for him. Nobody took the ebony alert serious. Nobody took it serious because he was a 63-year-old man, but his black face was still missing, and a bunch of kids had beat him the fuck up. That's how he died. He got his ass whooped, and they laid him in a park, and he died there from his injury. So, so now somebody's missing a, a schizophrenic grandpa, dad, uncle, whomever, hurting in their family because we as a people did not pull together and try to at least find this older man. So every time you see me post something about missing people, take it in heed, these people are really missing. I don't care what age they are. It doesn't matter to me. You could be 45 and missing. If your family put a poster out about you, I want it. I don't care what the circumstances, because if you ran away, you're just not going to want to come back. That's just real talk. You're not going to want to come back. I appreciate y'all. I'm not going to hold y'all up any longer. Like I said, this is a public service announcement. Send me everything in. You got any missing kids. You got any information on these miss this missing girl in West Philadelphia. I need it. I need it today. Me and Destiny are going to repost it on our show tonight at 9 on the Too Much Information Report. We will post it. I love y'all. Thank you, Facebook. Y'all have been a treasure as usual. Good afternoon, and I see you tonight. Stay hood.